Hello learners, welcome to the fourth week of our first quarter. So our topic for today is about properties of operation. So once again, I am your math teacher, Sir J. So we have the learning test one. So we have to complete the table below by filling in the sum or the product. So I will give the answer for the first uh, given. So we have 5 plus 3 that must be equal to what? Yes, very good. That is equal to 8. Then, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So, as you can see with the given, it is just being changed. Uh, the, posi the positions of the numbers are being changed. Next, for the second column, we have 2 times 7. So, that is equal to 14. And we also have 7 times 2, which is also equal to 14. So, again, the givens have changed its position. So, note that the multiplication is represented by an enclosed parenthesis with no operations indicated or a debt. So, for example, we have 2 times 8. So, 2 is enclosed with a parenthesis and 8 is also enclosed with a parenthesis. So, that must be equal to 16. And we also have 5 times 6. So, that is not 5.6. That is 5 times 6 and is equal to 30. So, do not use x or asterisk to represent multiplication because we are now in... Uh, algebra uh, and algebra x is considered as a variable next so rules in adding integers we have to review the rules of adding integers so addition of integers with the same sign so kindly add the integers then copy the sign so we have negative 5 plus negative 4 so we know that the answer must be a negative because the givens are negative. So, 5 plus 4 is simply 9. So, therefore, the answer is negative 9. Next, we have 10 plus 4. The answer must be, yes, very good, 14. So, always remember that if an integer doesn't uh, indicate any sign, so the integer is considered as positive. Next. Addition of integers with different signs. So we have to subtract the integers and copy the sign of the integer with greater absolute value. So we have here negative 5 plus positive 4. So we have to subtract that is 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. And the answer must be a negative because uh, the absolute value of negative 5 is 5 and positive 4 is 4. Therefore, we are going to copy the sign of the integer with a greater absolute value which is 5 so therefore the answer is negative 1 next 10 plus negative 4 the answer must be a positive because 10 is greater than 4 then 10 minus 4 is equal to 6 therefore the answer is positive 6 next so we are going to review the rules in subtracting integers to subtract integers, change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. So our given is negative 9 minus positive 3. So what would be the answer? Next is we are going to find the subtrahend. So the subtrahend is the second given or the second element in a subtraction. So in our given... Our subtrahend here is positive 3 and we are going to change the sign of the positive 3 then it becomes negative 3. Next just copy negative 9 and what would be our operation to be used? So change the sign of the subtrahend then proceed to addition then it becomes addition. Therefore our given has been negative 9 plus negative 3. Then proceed to the rule of uh, adding integers. Then we have negative 9 plus negative 3 is simply negative 12. Next, 10 minus positive 6. Again, we are going to find the subtrahend, the second element of the uh, given. So we have positive 6, then it becomes negative 6. Then copy 10, then... The operation to be used is addition. Therefore, we have 10 plus negative 6 must be equal to 4. That's good. 
Next, we are going to study the, pro the different properties uh, being used in addition and multiplication. So, we have the closure property. So, in dictionary, the closure property means that a set is closed for some mathematical operation. That is, a set is closed with respect to that operation if the operation can always be completed with elements in the set. Thus, a set either has or lacks closure with respect to a given operation. So, our closure property of addition. So, we have two givens. That is, for letter A, we have 7 plus 12. The answer must be 19. For letter B, we have negative 15 plus 12. The answer is negative 3. So, for any integers, and uh, A and B... A plus B is an integer. So, the answer or the sum for A plus B given that A is an integer and B is an integer, therefore, the answer must be also an integer. So, this is close for addition since the addends are integers. So, the sum is also an integer. So, if that is um, the definition in addition, what would be in multiplication? So, 5 times 9, that is equal to... 45 and for b we have negative 3 times 8 that is negative 24 so for, for any integers a and b a times b is an integer so the product of a given that a is an integer and b is an integer the product must be an integer so this is close under multiplication since the factors are integers so the product is also an integer so we also have the commutative property so commutative in dictionary it is an adjective in mathematics involving the condition that a group of quantities connected by operators give the same result whatever the order of the quantities involved for example a times b is equal to b times a so meaning to say if you have just changed the positions of the givens only the positions and not the values of A or B, then the product must also be the same as the first given. So let us have these examples for addition. So 6 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 2 plus 6. So 6 plus 2 is equal to positive 4. While negative 2 plus 6 is also equal to positive 4. Next, letter B, negative 8 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 3 plus negative 8. And negative 8 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 11. While negative 3 plus negative 8 is also equal to 11. So for any integers A and B, A plus B is equal to B plus A. So the order of addends will not affect the sum. So commutative property of multiplication, we have A. So 7 times negative 5 equals negative 5 times 7. So negative, uh, so 7 times negative 5 is equal to negative 35. While negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. So note that if you are multiplying two integers uh, with uh, unlike signs, the answer must be negative. So for letter B, we have positive 10 times positive 6 is equal to 6 times 10. So 10 times 6 is equal to 60. Because they are both positive, the answer is also positive. 6 times 10 is also equal to 60. So for any integers A and B, a times B is equal to B times A. So the order of factors will not affect the product. Let us have the associative property. So associative means involving the condition that a group of quantities connected by operators gives the same result whatever they are grouping as long as their order remains the same. A times B times C is equal to A times B times C. 
Let us have these examples for the associative property of addition. So we have group, so for letter A, we have group 3 plus 7 plus negative 4 equals 3 plus the quantity of 7 plus negative 4. So in this rule, we are going to solve first uh, what is inside the parenthesis or the grouping. So 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. And just copy the addition sign and negative 4. Then don't forget to put down or to write down the equal sign. Then we are going to solve for the value of the quantity which is 7 plus negative 4 is equal to positive 3. And we are going to write down the or copy the 3 then the addition sign. So that is... That becomes 10 plus negative 4 is equal to 3 plus 3. Then we are going to solve and don't ever forget to write down the equal sign. So we have 10 plus negative 4 is equal to 6 and 3 plus 3 is also equal to 6. Meaning to say that we are solving it correctly. Next, letter B. So we have group negative 2 plus 8 then add 5 is equal to negative 2 plus add or plus to the quantity of 8 plus 5. So that is negative 2 plus 8 is equal to positive 6 plus 5 and then the equal sign. Copy negative 2 or just solve 8 plus 5 first because that is inside the parenthesis. We have 13 then copy negative 2 and the addition sign. Then we have to solve 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. Negative 2 plus 13 is also equal to 11. For any integers a, b, and c, a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. So different groupings of addends will not affect the sum. But, don't reshuffle the givens because there might be negative or positive but just change the groupings of the givens as long as they are all in addition. Next, associative property of multiplication. So we have A. So we have the groupings 4 times 5. Then the answer must be multiplied by 7 is equal to, so our groupings now is 5 times 7 and to be multiplied to positive 4. So 4 times 5 is 20 and copy down the, or copy or write down the 7, then equal sign, then 4, then 5 times 7 is 35. So the answer must be 20 times 7 is 140, 4 times 35 is also equal to 140. So next, so uh, for B, for the second given, we have group negative 2 times 6, then multiplied by negative 4, equals negative 2 multiplied by the quantity of 6 times negative 4. So we have negative 2 times 6 is equal to 12, multiplied by negative 4, equals negative 2 multiplied by 6 times negative 4 is equal to negative 24 equals since our givens has the same uh, sign so they are negative so negative 12 times negative 4 the answer is positive therefore we have positive 48 equals negative 2 times negative 24 is also equal to positive 48. So for any integers a, b, and c, the groupings of a and b times c is equal to a times the groups, the groupings of b and c. So different groupings of factors will not affect the product. Next, we have the identity property. So if you have your identity, meaning to say uh, you will still be the same as you are. So for addition, we have 15 plus 0. The answer must be 15. 
and that is the identity property of addition. So 0 plus negative 8 is still negative 8. So for any integer a, a plus 0 is equal to a. So the sum of any number and 0 will always be equal to the number. So the identity element of addition is 0. So identity property of multiplication. So we have 32 times 1 is, is still 32. And 1 times negative 15 is still negative 15. So for any integer a, a times 1 is equal to a. The product of any number and 1 will always be equal to the number. The identity element of multiplication is 1. Next, we have the additive inverse property. For addition, we have 10 plus, uh, actually that is additive inverse property that is automatically be addition. So 10 plus negative 10, so that is the inverse of 10. So our first given is positive 10. Then the next one, we are going to add its inverse, which is negative 10. The answer is 0. Next, negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. For any integer a, a plus negative a is equal to 0. The opposite of the given integer is its additive inverse. So for example, if you have negative 5, the inverse is 5. If you have negative 9, the, in the inverse is 9. If you have 1, the inverse is negative 1. Next, multiplicative inverse property. So we have here fractions. So because uh, the inverse of a whole number is its fraction wherein the numerator is equal to 1. So if we have 3, the inverse of it is 1 third. So our given is 1 because uh, we are going to multiply 3 to 1. So that is 3 times 1 is equal to 3 over 3 and that would be 3 over 3 is equal to 1 as well as negative 5 times negative 1 fifth is equal to positive 1. So the reciprocal of the given integer is its multiplicative inverse. The product, a num the product a number and its multiplicative inverse is 1. Zero property of multiplication. So negative 98 is times 0 is equal to 0. 0 times 12 is equal to 0. For any integer a, a times 0 is 0. Any number multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. Meaning to say if you are given even a thousand or a million, if you, are, uh, if you are going to multiply it by 0, the answer would always be 0. So for example, we have 1 million times 0, the answer is still 0. Distributive property of multiplication over addition. So we have 6 times the quantity of 4 plus 8 is equal to 6 times 4 plus 6 times 8. So distributive means we are going to distribute distribute the given. So we have here 6 times the quantity of 4 plus 8. So we are going to distribute 6 to 4 and 8. Therefore, we are going to have 6 times 4, then 6 times 8. Equals 6 times 12. So where did we get 12? So 12 is the, uh, the sum of 4 and 8. And is also equal to 6 times 4 is equal to 24 plus 6 times 8 is equal to 48. Then we are going to solve 6 times 12 is equal to 72. 24 plus 48 is equal to 72. Next for the second given, so negative 5 times negative 3 plus 10 is equal to negative 5 times negative 3 plus negative 5 times 10. So negative 5 to equal sign. So we have negative 3 plus 10 is equal to positive 7. We are going to copy negative 5. 
Next, negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Plus, negative 5 times 10 is equal to negative 50. Then, the answer must be negative 35. So, negative 5 times 7 is equal to negative 35. 15 plus negative 50 is also equal to negative 35. So, for any integers a, b, and c, a times b plus c is equal to a times b plus a times c. So, adding first before multiplying or distributing the factor to each addend will give the same result. So, for learning task 2, complete the following to make true statements. Then, determine the property applied. So, you are going to solve it. So, for number we 1, we have 18 plus blank is equal to 6 plus 8. So, we are going to put 18 plus 6 is equal to 6 plus 8. And you are going to write down or determine the property applied. So, in this case, for number 1, we have the, yes, the commutative property. So, ganun po ang gagawin for the next number. So, numbers 2 up to 10. So that is all for today. Enjoy learning. So once again, your math teacher, Sir Jay.